ago I knew someone who was selling these cases for the phone and I had bought one and then it the zipper had broken so it had a little zipper on the top and so I decided well I'll just make my own and I started making them for my phone so this is like the third one that I'll be making um, and I just thought you know what this time instead of just fabric plain fabric I'm gonna do something to give it a little bit of pop you know something fun and these are this is a kind of cute picture it reminds me of something that my granddaughters would paint and so I think that they're gonna like it so I just wanted color I didn't really I wasn't really particular about anything just wanted something cute and just very colorful so I have something to look at that I like pouches are also good if you just want to use it when you're taking a walk you know you have something extra protection I have a case for my phone but I go to the beach I walk on the beach a lot so and I always have to take my phone so this way if I happen to drop it in the sand or whatever it's got a little bit extra protection and I've always used these and you know I am not a sewer so I hope you will forgive me my pouches <laughs> I'm sure yours are gonna come out fantastic I haven't sewn in a while the only thing I sew are these little pouches and things for my art journal and things like that it's been a long time when my kids were young yeah I did sew, you know Halloween costumes and all that jazz but not anymore Okay, this is one of my hats that I have and I decided while I was waiting for the paint to dry on the other fabric I thought well you know what I had washed this hat and I thought I'm gonna paint it crazy and just put some color on it it's so boring so I think it's Panama Jack is the name of this hat and I love the hat but it's just like boring so I thought what the heck I have the paints out right so just you know how you get you start painting everything <laughs> so that this hat is getting a uh, fancified and uh, so my granddaughters maybe they'll like it when they come they'll say oh they usually love all my stuff so I'm sure they'll love it Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Leave me comments. Let me know how you like this video and if it's something that maybe you'll do too. I'd love and I'd love to see your creation. Okay, so you can see that I've been adding, I added some pearl to this and a little bit of purple and um, oh, lavender, whatever you call that. And um, I'm just going to keep, I'm going to let this dry 
and then I'm going to add some more detail to it, some more flowers and maybe another bird. And then I'll figure out the size I need, uh, how much, if I'm going to just, because I have to put the phone on here and then cut it. Do I want this to go all around or do I want to make the back something something else? Um, you know, a different material? What You know, what do I want to do? Right now, I think I'm going to just make it this and then maybe uh, the sides will have a different piece. I just want to add some other material to it. So I don't know how I'm going to do it yet, but I'm going to. And then this is going to be the padded and I have this, oops, something's underneath there. Such a messy desk. I got to clean today. Um, I always put this inside it's felt material and um, I pad it with that. So this way when the phone sits in the case, you know, it's pretty safe. I mean, you know, I just don't like my phones, even though I buy cases for them and everything, I don't like them just laying in my purse. And I'll be back when it's ready and dried, and then we'll cut it, and then I will sew it. Here's another piece of fabric that I'm going to make another one with. And I just painted the flowers that are already there with some neon colors. Looks really pretty. Okay, so I'm still working on the hat. I don't know, I'm not going to be able to have it done for this video, but I will, you know, show it on Facebook or something when it's done. I want to add a whole bunch of stuff, beads and all kinds of crazy stuff, but that's how it's coming out. I splash some paint on it and stuff like that. So when that gets done, I will definitely take a picture of it. And I wasn't able to record me actually sewing these together because... The, the, cam, the way the camera is above and I had the sewing machine on here, you just couldn't see it. But all I did was cut the square to the sides uh, of the, for, the, um, blah, 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 for the phone, you know, measure it um, and just cut it. And then I just sewed it, of course, inside out and then just turned it right side. And um, I just doodled some stitching on it you know did some stitching crazy stitching nothing in particular just some zigzag and just you know sewed it so depending on what kind of material you use you know uh, but I want what I do is I usually sew the top and the bottom together and do some like embroidery just around it just you can't really see it just to get the top the two layers together and yeah you can fuse them together but it I wasn't I'm not trying to do anything fancy so I just run through it with the sewing machine you can kind of see the stitching there and it just holds it together so that's about it it's no big deal and then you can put your your little piece of ribbon in there to for a little uh, to hold it um, I usually go over it a couple of times to make it really secure because you surely don't want this to fall off with your phone in there so um, that's it sorry I couldn't film that but it just uh, there's I just not enough room on my table for the everything so <laughs> but most of you can sew better than I can and it's a real simple thing to do <laughs> So this is going to be one that I'll probably take out with me. This one uh, didn't come out as secure as I wanted it. It's got some fraying and stuff. So this one I'll probably just keep in my art studio. So if it gets paint on it, doesn't matter. It's already got paint on it. So it'll look better. This one uh, fits the phone. I think the phone goes deeper in it. So um, I like that. That one's going to be the one that I carry in my purse and, you know, or just, you know, walk with. So that'll be that one. And then this one, it doesn't go with, I cut it too short and uh, the ribbon is fraying a little bit and I don't like that. So, but I either would have to take this all out and do it all over again or I'm just, like I said, I just decided, you know what, I'm just going to leave this one for downstairs for in my studio and it doesn't matter if it gets paint on it or whatever so I'll have two of them and this fabric I use this canvas kind of fabric is so thick and then with the padding fabric it was very hard to work with I mean it was really this was so much easier using just the cotton fabric with the kind of pad felt inside so you could see the 
the felt inside there yeah so this this was a lot easier to work with so that is that I hope I gave you some ideas and if you have any kind of phone and you want to protect it especially in your art studio you know your craft room um, it just and it gives you a chance so if you have to touch touch it your hands are messed up at least like that's why I'm going to keep this one so if I have to touch it and I have paint on my hands it's not going to matter um, but at least it'll you sometimes you go to get your phone and you don't realize that your hands are a mess so this way at least when I go to get my phone it'll be protected and then I can go oh gosh I have paint on my hands let me clean my hands so that is that and I hope I uh, inspired you to make this for yourselves and uh, have some fun make some funky 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 drawings and use some paint and and this deco art uh, so soft fabric paint is just really cool so just lots of fun okay so it I just wanted to show you the original one that well this isn't the original this is the second one I made and this was the material from it when I made it and it had a different color on the top but it got so gr grungy and then I uh, cleaned it washed it in the washing machine and it just got funky so I just took some paint <laughs> and just painted it with some fabric paint and used it like that for a couple of months I've had it like that so that's gonna go in the trash but that was the one for my um, 5s and um, yeah, it, it did its job, you know, it protected it, but now I'm going to use this material because I really like this orange. It looks it's so nice and bright, uh, and I'm going to use it for my iPad because I should have done something for my iPad because my case is so old. My iPad is old. It's a iPad, I think it's a 2, so my case is like just falling apart, so I'm just going to make it a nice soft case, but that's and that. I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you next time.